Juventus faced off with Genoa today. Janusz Michalik is joining me as we look back at this one. Janusz, it finished three goals to one in Juventus's favor. I suppose many would have expected them to take care of business. Pirlo making two changes from the side that beat Napoli midweek that we spoke about as well. How would you rate this performance, considering the fact that for once we're not really talking about Cristiano Ronaldo, are we? <laughs> no, no, and it's good. And by the way, I think he played well in a supportive role as well. So, you know, often we talk about him because he's Ronaldo and he scores goals, but I'm glad that we don't have to because I'm a little bit tired of it because there's, you know, this is a talented team, Alexis, that yeah. has been underperforming under, under uh, Pirlo. But this was the sort of uh, game or, or performance, at least in the first half, that's been missing for a long time. The sort of no drama, early goals, right? Uh, and, and, you know, the players, that have been maybe the most consistent of all the players. If you look at Federico Chiesa, he's been absolutely incredible. And even and even Juan Cuadrado, who for yeah. me quietly has been the most consistent, he came off at halftime. I don't think there was an injury. I know he was sitting on a yellow card suspension. You know, Juventus going to Bergamo next weekend to play against Atalanta, which of course, you know, you've mentioned the big win over Napoli. Tough yeah and then Atalanta next week and that's what's important so I'm gl I was glad to see that but it wasn't without nervous moments uh, yeah. uh, for Juventus just before halftime Wojciech Szczesny the Polish internationals very very good uh, in stopping Gianluca Samaka and right after halftime Samaka scored that great header when De Ligt I don't know what he did there certainly wasn't defending slipped he was looking for a penalty that never was but so there were some nervous moments and, you know, they got a little bit of help uh, because uh, I think it was Zapacosta that came off with 15 minutes to go with an injury and they've already done all their uh, uh, substitutions. So, so uh, you know, Genoa had to play with 10 men uh, <laughs> without receiving a red card, which is usually uh, what happens there. But, but in the end, I, I think it was, it was rather controlled game by Juventus, something that they needed in between those games. Uh, against Napoli and Atalanta. Well, control game for Juventus, but if we had to nitpick Janic, because as we know, Juventus have been far from perfect, even when they do get it right, like today. Um, an interesting stat, though, that they've failed to keep a clean sheet in their last six games before this. Yet again, here we come today now in the seventh game in a row, still no clean sheet. Um, is this a worry for you any at all, if you're Pirlo? Well, it's a worry going forward. I mean, we've talked about uh, Ju Juventus's midfield, which is not up to par, not what it used to be. But, you know, it's it's almost one of those fads that that's where you kind of default to the midfield. But we've got to talk about the, the you know, the back, back three or back four, right? I mean, the core of that team, you and I have spoken mm -hmm. about it, you know, it, when Gigi Buffon was at their best, when Chiellini was younger at his best, Bonucci, who's not available uh, right now, you know, even and even Andrea Barzali, if I, you know, if, when you remember when Juventus were just, you know, starting to win all these trophies. So uh, I, I think that it's a transition. It's not an easy one because in the past, all the names that I've mentioned, you wouldn't have to worry about Juventus and clean sheets, right? Yeah. I mean, you couldn't penetrate that even if you tried. And there is a reason why Juventus were winning nine uh, Scudetti in, in, in a row. So uh, it is a worry going forward. The bigger worry, of course, is the rest of the season and Andra Pirlo, because this team is still much better than they're showing. And I haven't seen it, and anybody for that matter, we haven't seen it if Andrea Pirlo is good enough to make this transition because a lot was promised to us, right? You know, the high press, the, 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 the team getting younger. I haven't seen it. The, the high press may be early in the season, but this is basically the same team that we've seen last season. And I don't think Andrea Pirlo has shown just yet that he's good enough and experienced enough. So no, I'm not sacking him, Alexis, uh, not just yet, but I'm going to be watching the rest of the season because I expect now Juventus for the rest of the season to solidify the top four right now and without drama, just to say that, okay, let's give this another year with Pirlo, support him as much as you can, find the right signings in the back and in the midfield and we'll see what happens next season. So I'll be watching Juventus closely for the rest of the season because I do believe they are going to finish in Champions League spots.
And Yanish, final question from me now, just looking at the table, Juventus closing the gap um, to Milan to one point. Um, how uneasy are you sleeping if you're Milan and company right now? And also just the match against Atalanta that you mentioned coming up next week. How crucial is that for Juve? Well, that, that is crucial for Juventus. I think, you know, Milan winning this weekend, that's massive against Parma as well. I don't think it matters to Milan or Juventus at this stage if they finish second or third. I suppose it looks always looks better to finish ahead of big teams, but Inter uh, are winning a Scudetto, another win for them uh, this weekend as well. So, uh, you know, the Napoli win was big. If Juventus beat Atalanta, I think they'll find themselves in the top four and neither Milan or Juve will worry about that. But of course, there's still plenty of matches. Atalanta's got a big one. Uh, as we speak, they're getting ready for Fiorentina. Uh, so some of these things uh, may resolve themselves uh, for Juventus. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.